up to this we covered several programs where we require to insert string objects string buffer objects integer objects like sir predefined objects we can very easy, easily insert and we can show the output i want customized sorting for my own classes like employee class or like student class or like customer class i want then how we can apply sorting techniques or comparable comparator concept for our own classes like employee yes i will give one small demonstration so that you people can get much clarity about comparable comparator okay so a bit funny purpose i gave name of the program or name of the main class yes comp comp demo have you observed comp comp demo first comp meant for comparable second comp meant for comparator okay this is here in this example both concepts i covered here just i took employee class have you observed class employee implements comparable of course that part i will come class employee employee class contain how many properties two properties are there employee name and the employee id two properties contain inside employee class this one is constructor to provide values so name and this part not required to explain next the two string method whenever we are printing employee object to print is a name and employee id to print is a name and employee id two string method also i over right this is employee class behavior right now i'm creating multiple employee objects employee even is equal to new employee of nag 100 first employee nag is the name and his id is 100 employee e2 is equal to new employee of balaya 200 balaya is the name 200 is his employee id employee e3 is equal to new employee of chiru 50 is anathema chiru is the employee name 50 itself is anathema id employee e4 employee e5 are getting total how many employee objects we create five employee objects but here one small observation e1 and e5 both employees having the same name same id can i use that term it's a duplicate right yes duplicate objects right now tree set t is equal to new tree set and i am creating an empty tree set object do you know which constructor we use here no arg constructor no arg constructor meant up for default natural sorting order okay this is for default natural sorting order default natural sorting order now for employee for most of the people what is commonly required sorting based on name or based on id based on id because duplicate names are possible but duplicate ids are not there that's why in general for most of the people commonly required sorting is based on id the person who is writing employee class he is responsible to define default natural sorting order by implementing comparable interface are you getting right the person who is writing employee class he is responsible to implement okay to define default natural sorting order by implementing comparable whenever my class implements comparable compulsory we should provide implementation for which method compare to method are you getting compulsory we should provide implementation for compare to how this compare to method is implemented just observe t dot yard of e1 first employee object i added t dot yard of e2 first one added t dot yard of e2 whenever we are adding e2 internally so obj1 dot compare to of obj2 will be there obj1 means which object we are trying to add obj2 which object is already available right now simple find out employee id of this object and this object smaller employee id person we have to keep first 
higher employee ID person we have to keep next. That is our SNNG order of IDs based on. So what I will do? OBJ on here. Immediately internally compared to method is going to come. In the compared to method, this is object to argument. But where is the first object? On which object we are calling compared to method? Is the first object. So first, on which object we are calling compared to method is current object. This current object. First define current object employee ID. That means OBJ1 employee ID. First person employee ID I got. Next, uh, this is second object. OBJ1 dot compared to OBJ2. This is. So typecast uh, this one to the employee. I typecast it to employee. So in the EID2 is equal to E dot EID. EID2. So first person employee ID. Second person employee ID I got. If first person employee ID less than second person employee ID. Smaller lesser employee ID person should come before before that's why return minus one have you observed smaller employee id person should come should return minus one is nothing but should come before that's why return minus one else if eid one greater than eid two if bigger if first employee id is greater than second employee id greater employee id person should come after that's why return plus one if both employee IDs are same, like E1 and E5, then return 0 bars, duplicate don't insert like. So, this is the sorting. So, based on employee ID, assigning order of employee ID. Now, SOP of T. If I print, if these employee objects are inserted according to this compared to method, if I print, what is the output by default we are going to get? Can I, can I spell out? What is the output I will get in this case? First employee, huh? whose employee ID is smaller? Chiru. That's why first employee ID Chiru iPhone iPhone 50. First one. Because two string method will be called to return name dot 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 ID. Next, who is the next employee? Nag iPhone iPhone 100. Who is the next employee? Huh? Nag. Next, Vinky Vinky 150. Next, who is the next employee? Ah, Balaya 200, right. Balaya 200, right. Are you getting? If you consider this output, all employee IDs, all employee objects inserted according to ascending order of employee IDs. Are you able to get right? Okay, this way. So, here, default natural sorting order, we implemented by using implements comparable. In the how we implemented this logic based on employee ID. Are you getting based on employee ID? Okay, this way. Now, this is the output by default we got. Let me consider up to this and let me execute. Remaining part I will I will explain right. Okay, let me let me go for this up to this. Here the same example. Here, if you if you consider this example, class employee implements comparable, string name int eid, same thing, constructor to string method, and public int compare to, same logic, whatever I explained on the board. Now, comp, comp, public static void main, employee e1, so like five employees are there, tree set t is equal to new tree set, t dot yard of e1, sop of t. Remaining part, let me comment. As of now, I don't want to talk. Let me comment this part. Okay. Now, let me run this code. Java C. What is the name of the program? Comp, comp, dot Java. Here, Java, comp, comp. What is the output? By default, we are getting. Have you observed? Chiru 50, Nag 100, and Vinky 150, Balaya 200. All employees inserted based on ID. Are you getting that? Essening order of ID. Because ID based sorting is a very commonly required. That's why the person who is writing employee class, the person who is writing employee class, he defined default natural sorting order 
by implementing compare to concept are you getting right out of 100 people who are using employee class 90 percent of the people minimum satisfied with the sorting but very few members sir i don't want sir i don't want based on employee id i want based on name or i want based on salary like some people may ask then now you can define our sorting okay this is now three set t1 is equal to new tree set of new my comparator sir i am not satisfied with the default natural sorting i want i don't want sorting based on id i want sorting based on name name then how you can if you are not satisfied with the default natural sorting order then we can define our own sorting by using what the comparator concept now here see so on tree set t1 is equal to new tree set of new my comparator i add a five objects as it is t dot yard of t1 dot yard of e1 t1 dot yard of e2 e3 e4 e5 sop of t1 while adding this if we provide comparator object internally which method will be called which method will be called compare instead of compare to if we are depending on default natural sorting order yes we are depending on default natural sorting order internally compare to method will be called if we are depending on customized sorting customized sorting then which 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 method will be called compare method will be called okay this is now t1 dot add of e1 e2 compare how the compare method i implemented simple enough. so here which objects we are sending employee objects we are sending employee e1 is equal to employee of obj1 employee e2 is equal to employee of obj2 string s1 e1 dot name s2 e2 dot name so what is name of first employee what is name of second employee so these are string object return s1 dot compared to of s2 can you tell s1 is which object string object string class compared to method is implemented based on alphabetical order only that's why based on alphabetical order of names the all employee objects will be inserted now can you tell what is the output by default we are we are going to get in this case okay let me take can you can you spell out first which employee will be there huh first which which employee will be there uh, alphabetical order of names that's why balaya b starts with b balaya his employee id is 200 comma next which employee id will be there chiro chiro okay it's employee id 50 next which employee id will be there nag nag 100 next who is there venki it's a uh, value is nothing but what huh 150 like uh, this is the output by default we are getting are you able to understand so employee id based on employee id default natural sorting based on name this is customized sorting order okay if you want if you are not satisfied with the default natural sorting order then we can go for customized sorting by using what the comparator concept i hope you people are able to understand clearly right okay this is what you should aware so how we can apply comparable comparator concept for our own classes is nothing but this is that thing let me run this code also so that whether we are getting this output or not i will show here just observe this one yeah let me comment earlier tree set yes i am commenting earlier tree set now this tree set let me take tree set t1 is equal to new tree set of new my comparator t1 dot add of e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 okay like okay this so can you tell is it default natural sorting or customizer sorting customizer sorting internally which method will be called compare method now let me compile and let me run this code yes what is the output by default we are getting have you observed balaya 200 chiru huh, 50 nag have you observed alphabetical order of their names irrespective of their number ids is nothing but like so if we are satisfied with the default natural sorting happily we can use default natural sorting technique 
if we are not satisfied with the default natural sorting we can go for customized sorting by using what comparator concept so how we can apply comparable comparator for our own classes like this one but here you may raise some doubt sir suppose my default natural sorting is based on name and uh, based on id is my customized sorting no problem at all whatever default natural sorting you want you have to write the logic here so inside compare method compare to method whatever logic we are writing this is for what default default natural sorting order default natural sorting order whatever the logic we are writing inside compare method inside compare method this is for what customized sorting this is for customized sorting customized sorting based on your requirement whether based on id or based on so name or based on salary based on age whatever the sorting you required happily you can define that is nothing but like this is about so how to apply comparable comparator for our own classes right